This is McFly Angler. starts now. For a hook, we will need a short shank saltwater hook like these from Riz and Fly. And today I'm tying a size 2. Place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, today I will be using Vivas 6 Ot in yellow. Start the thread in eye length or so back from the eye of the hook and snip or snap off the waist. Then bring your thread down into the bend of the hook slightly and then back up to just before the start of the hook bend. Now we need 4 to 5 strands of crystal flash and I like pearl for this baitfish coloration. Tie the flash in under the hook shank back to the start of the hook bend, and then come up a few wraps. Pull the forward facing strands rearward and tie those in on the other side of the hook like so. Then cut the flash so it is even with the back of the hook bend. Now we need two strands of pearl flashaboo. Measure out the flash to about two to three times the hook shank length, and then tie it in directly on top of the hook, ensuring that it does not get tied too deeply into the hook bend. Pull the forward facing strands rearward, and tie those in angling rearward as well, and then cut the excess flash off. Also, wetting the flash will make the next steps easier. Now we need some EP fiber, or in this case, the much better priced Congo hair. For this pinfish coloration, I will be using white for the belly, Galapagos olive for the back, baitfish blue for some accents, and while I don't have the bag anymore for this, it is just the yellow, also for some accents. As I stated last week in the blue over white EP fly, you want very small selections of this fiber. As you can see, I'm just cutting a wisp of fiber off. Anyway, let's go over what we will need for this fly. First, let's pre-cut the white fiber. For the tail, we need two pieces about half the length of the fiber, so let's cut this in half to make two long pieces. Next, let's cut another selection into thirds for three separate medium-sized pieces. Now let's cut another selection into quarters for four small pieces. And that's it for the white. Okay, now for the olive. Two large pieces and three medium. And to be honest, later I took the larger of the medium pieces there and cut that in half. So technically you need two large, two medium, and two small. Okay, now for the yellow. One long, one medium, and two small pieces. And finally for the blue, I cut one large, one medium, and one small. Now keep in mind these don't need to be exact and I won't actually use all the pieces here. Okay, let's start with the white. Grab one longer piece. Separate the end of the fiber and split the hook with it. Pull it back so you are tying the fiber in directly in the center of the fiber bunch and directly underneath the hook shank. Now grab a large olive piece. Tie this in directly on top of the hook shank extending back the same length as the white section. Now start wrapping the thread up the hook shank a couple wraps, ensuring that the fiber stays directly on top and bottom of the shank. Then come back a wrap or two. Now pull the forward facing olive strands rearward and tie those down, checking how much space between that group and the back end of the strands. You want to make a small space in front. Now separate the fiber of the white strands to ensure that they split the hook and tie these in directly on the bottom of the fly, leaving the same space between this section and the previous, just like you did with the olive. Then bring your thread up past the bump that you made. Now for another long piece of white fiber, and a long piece of olive. We will tie both of these in the same way as the previous, leaving similar spaces between each section and the previous. And also ensure all of these fibers stay directly on top or bottom of the hook shank. Okay, now let's start with the accents. Tie one long piece of yellow directly on the bottom of the hook, however this time you don't need to split the fibers. You will see when you cut this that they will naturally split when you're further up the shank here. Now tie in a blue piece like you would the olive. Okay, advance your thread up like before, however do not fold the pieces rearward and tie them in. Let's tie in another olive piece on top and white on bottom. Advance your thread up a little ways once again and then back down. And then pull back the olive and the white and tie them down. Then advance your thread up again and back down. Now you can finish tying back the blue and yellow strands. Now let's accent the top with yellow, but let's do white on the bottom. Let's put an olive in the center of the top, but this time let's accent the bottom with the yellow piece between the white. Okay, now we're done with the accenting. I thought I would use more blue, but I did not. Anyway, let's finish up with all the small pieces of white and olive, ensuring that the spaces between them get smaller as you move up the shank. 
Try to get one last section in right behind the eye where the whip finish will be small. All right, once you are done tying in those pieces, then go ahead and whip finish your fly. Now we need to trim it. First, use a stiff bristle toothbrush to brush out the fibers. Now make an angle cut from the top down to the back of the tail with some long scissors. Do the same thing with the underside using the hook bend as a guide for the angle. When you do this, you're left with sharp angles on the front, so let's round those off. Go ahead and make more cuts, cleaning up more and more. Brush out the fly and then cut, but make sure and make small cuts. Don't over trim this fly. Now it's time to add eyes. I'm going to use these living eyes in 6mm size in the wind color. Pull two off and place in your hand to get them ready. We will also need some gel type super glue. Place a dot of glue on both sides of the whip finish. Then place the eyes on so they're even on both sides. And the front of the eyes are jammed up behind the hook eye. Take the fly out of the vise to check if the eyes are angled properly as well. If not, then adjust till you're happy with the placement. To secure the eyes even more, we will use the Solares resin, both the thin formula and the ultra thin as well. Turn the fly up in your vise and then place a drop of thin resin in the cavity between the eyes. Then cure it hard with your UV light. Now, I wanted a bit more of a bulged out head here, so let's add another drop of resin and cure that. I actually needed a third drop, but there we go, I'm happy with that. Now turn the fly downward in the vise and rotate it. Place a drop in the cavity and the underside filling that. Cure the resin and then place another drop and cure that if you need to fill the cavity more. Now the eyes are quite secure, but I like engulfing the eyes in this ultra thin resin to really secure them and make them look nice and shiny. Just paint it on the eyes and keep rotating while you cure it. All right, let's brush out the fly once more and do little trims to finish it up. When adding the eyes, some of the fiber will get trapped at different angles. Also, pinfish tend to have more pointed down heads. So let's trim a little more of an angle into the front head here and on the bottom as well. Finish touching up the trims until you're happy with it, but don't go overboard. See how thin these are? And very see-through as well. A perfect thin bait fish representation. Okay, last but not least, let's add some pinfish stripes. I'm gonna use a simple Sharpie, and it doesn't say what color it is, but it's the light blue one. Okay, let's add stripes down the fly here. Now it can be tricky actually, as the fiber wants to move out of the way. Sometimes just dots up and down will work. Okay, there we have it, a finished EP pinfish fly. As you saw last week, this is just a style of tying and can be tied in any color combo you want. Use a simple two color fish with darker top and lighter bottom, or go more complicated like I did here with accent stripes, colors, and markings with your Sharpie. It's all up to you. Just tie this to mimic whatever bait fish you want or what colors you're looking to fish with. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this pinfish color combo and what pattern you would like to see me tie in the future. As you all know, I've gotten you all discounts from www.risenfly.com. They manufacture all their own hooks, rods, reels, fly tying tools, and other gear for fly fishing. Not only are the prices at their shop very good already, but like I said, they're offering you 15% off of your first order with them. So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for a discount on your entire cart. I want to also thank all of my patrons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel and also get some great perks like early access access to my videos, participate in live streams, and even discounts on purchasing flies I tie and sell. Yes, that's right, I do sell flies hand tied by me. If you want to order, you can do so through Patreon for that discount, or just place an order by finding me on Instagram or Facebook. Or if you don't use social media, then you can go to my YouTube homepage, click the About section, and then click View Email Address and email me with your order. I want to also thank all of you who share all my videos and your continued support by hitting the like button and being my subscriber. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.